vertically integrate as much as possible, building a vehicle from the ground up. Between the different sub teams, we have our structures team, our avionics team, our engines team. We're fully designing and building everything here in house in Atlanta to create a reusable vehicle that can go up to Mach 5. We couldn't do what we're trying to do today without additive. Um, generally, you know, where additive fits in well or where castings would have fit in well. And right now with the supply chain where it is, you know, you're looking at a half a year to a full year out in terms of um, being able to get those types of components. And when you have a technology here that can allow us to just to move faster. One of the biggest challenges for our, our first Chimera engine was the fact that our components were so big that they actually didn't fit on a traditional additive printer. We would have to print them in multiple pieces and either bolt them together or, or weld them together. And with Velo's new Sapphire XC machine, uh, we're able to decrease a lot of our part counts down from, from five parts to two or from four parts to one. It's actually able to decrease our, our overall cost as well. So it's been a, it's been a huge game changer for us. I think one of the, the more interesting things to me is the, the technical capability of the machines. Uh, the ability to print with extremely thin walls, to get away with less uh, support material. We make things that are very large in diameter because we're jet engines, not rocket engines. Very large in diameter but relatively low in pressure. So when you can make things that are very large but very thin walls, incredibly important to us. It's a very cohesive process. From start to finish, you don't have to rely on a lot of other tools, a lot of other softwares. You can keep it within one ecosystem, which really lets you streamline the process from build creation, printer maintenance, actually printing the part, and then inspecting the part afterwards with the data that comes off of the printers. Having that additive technology or that rapid prototyping like at your fingertips where an engineer can walk out on the floor with a, a model that's ready and be printing it that same day is just a, a game changer for us.